Hi everyone, this is our bi-weekly QPB meeting. We had some issues uh, about joining the Zoom, but it's okay now. We have Shelly with us. Uh, I Shelly, why are you Jared a few times ago? Sorry, I'm using a coworker's computer because mine is in for repair, so I had to change the name. Okay, no problem. <laughs> So are you, uh, can you introduce us? Uh, are you using QBB for a few times or you're just ex experimenting it? We just deployed a KubeDB to our Kubernetes cluster and we experienced an issue when we went to deploy the Postgres, uh, high availability Postgres, but I did see that there is a few changes out there and it'll be released in 0 0.9. So we are going to wait for that change um, but we, we like what we see as far as how many databases are supported, but the one that we really need is Postgres, and we have not been able to test it yet. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, we, are, uh, we, are working for, uh, we are working on some few changes on our next release. Uh, I hope I will be able to show you the changes. Uh, okay, let me share my screen. Okay, yeah, in last two weeks, we made two changes in our design, if, my, if I say. Uh, we are now using mm, a, another CRDF to represent the basic yeah, DB versions. Uh, like when we use Postgres 9.6 or Postgres 10.2, there will be another CRDF that represents what is actually 9.6 or 10.2. For here, there is one uh, CRD that names 9.6. Uh, this, uh, this will represent that the DB image will be kubedb Postgres 9.6, Postgres exporter that is used for uh, exporter means that is a, it is a, a pod, the sidecar that will export the matrix to Prometheus and the version will be 9.6. And for this actually operator, our main operator, and Postgres tools. This is used as uh, uh, job tools. That means it will use to dump and take a recovery or backup or restore, and that will be used. This use will be used to do that. And just like that, uh, this was the first proposal CRD and uh, this was uh, ex accepted and the, that way if user will be able to use time scale DB as well just uh, nine on name will be nine nine point six and the uh, inside image will be something time scale DB or something export as something is for tools and uh, that way user will be able to time scale DB as well just uh, like process by changing the image uh, the, we have planned to add time scale in database supports, but Josh uh, came uh, and uh, tell us it is just another variant of Postgres, so we just can uh, use this pattern. Uh, so thank to Josh uh, for uh, contributing to keep the project just like that. We help. We expect a lot of help from the user uh, sites as well. Uh, that will be on change on our next release. Um, these CRDs will be installed on the uh, initial deployment. Uh, let me show. So when user deploys KubeDB, this will this will create some CRDs like Postgres version, Postgres and uh, some other and this is uh, let me show an ending here uh, that's it so the initial operator will create postgres version elastic search version and uh, mongodb versions lots of crds and this this uh, this yml will be uh, deployed on the first uh, the first time so user will do, will not need to do anything 
about it they can do they just like the previous days uh, but if they want to tweak anything they can they have the flexibility now uh, the image will be did uh, this one okay, post base 9.6 and exporter will be operator 0 0.8.0 so in future it will be 0 0.9.0 nothing changes in the exporter just the operator version change and tools will be uh, accordingly so this is one change in 0 0.9.0 and another will be in api from now on uh, we are going to duplicate some APIs from main CRD. Uh, let me tell you. We now have uh, moved the all the uh, where is all going. Oh, okay. I see. This is not master branch. So we have removed some uh, pod. We have moved some field into pod spec. Uh, we, let me show you the APIs now. Uh, now pod template spec cont contains some object meta or controller object meta or spec. Uh, object meta means this will be used in. I forgot actually where it was used. Oh, this was not used as. Okay, that's where we may be used only some annotations. We only take annotations from object meta, and uh, this annotation will be uh, uh, will be used in uh, CRDs, uh, CRDs, 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 not CRDs in stateful sets. And we have one more uh, controller that will be used in stateful sets, and you have this spec that will be used in pod specs if i may show you this will be have some more flexibility for user ends like user can uh, define their resource uh, they could add uh, before though we have pro we had problem in postgres now it is fixed they will be able to use environments and they will be able to use init containers as well. This will be added in the last of uh, all our init containers. They will uh, able to give priority class names as well and priority. And this thing is uh, will be handy to uh, overcrowded cluster. And they can uh, mention security context too. Uh, we have service specs in. Um, Service template space. So just like pod template, we also have on service template spec, and this will be uh, applied uh, against services and pod templates was uh, applied against pod or stateful sets. Uh, in service template, user will be able to use object meta. That means they, this is just uh, annotations uh, right now and service spec service spec here user can give the cluster ip if they wish they can able to define type or external ips or load balancer ip and we have now flexibility for user ends if i may say So we are working all, working all on this. Uh, we have already merged a few, not few actually, all of them in master. Now the, they are in the peers are pending. Hopefully, we'll be able to merge those uh, in a uh, few days.
Hello? Okay. We'll be able to emerge those in few days and we are hoping to release 0.9.0 on August 15. Uh, we are working hard and soul to do this release because we are hang on this release for lots of days for very few days and just work is adding there so we are gonna just stay, stay there and cut a release before doing anything else uh, and we just need to add the uh, doc the, we have to need uh, edit lots of doc uh, uh, improve actually so let's wait and see if I, we can make that in 15 or August 15 or not at least we are going to release an um, beta RC at least so this is the changes we made in last few weeks uh, we me and Imrus was working on this uh, custom config and database version CRDs uh, and here um, Shrudita is working on Redis cluster right now. So we're planning to add that in 0 0.10, uh, hopefully. Uh, that's all actually. That's the working progress in last two weeks. So if anyone have any questions, let me add, Silly, are you finding this uh, new uh, tool, new options confusing or good enough to use for a user in? Um, I, I think it's pretty user friendly. Uh, we, we have our back running on our cluster. So we actually had to create the role separately in a different repository and turn off create for KubeDB, as well as uh, the CRDs we created those separately. Um, but it's pretty straightforward and the documentation for it was um, was pretty thorough. Okay. Uh, we're uh, going to move some CRD specs from one field to another and we're actually confusing if that will break the user in CRDs. Uh, we are hopeful to use a tool that will convert the previous CRDs to either to the updated so user won't uh, face uh, lots of problem. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what happens with that because um, kubedb at this time doesn't have the ability to uh, make any confident. changes to the CRDs in our cluster. Yeah. Okay, we have planned to do that. Uh, it's actually developing. We're planning to do a stable release. The, after that, everything will be backward compatible, and we are we try to be, to uh, try our best to do it backward compatible. But at the end, we just um, make a groundbreaking changes to support make it better. So hopefully, it will be good. It will be backward compatible on day. So if anyone have any questions. I guess that's all. Uh, uh, our ending time is coming near. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Hopefully we will be able to see you once again. Uh, our next uh, bike weekly meeting will be after, ah, no, not after. Uh, to, uh, ne our next meeting will be canceled due to Idul Azab uh, vacation. Uh, we will announce the next release on KubeDB Slack or uh, on the calendar. So stay tuned. Thank you all uh, for joining. See you soon.